And hello everybody, welcome back. <laughs> we just helped finish a fantastic looking sword for some lord. Gorgeous. And this chick wants some nails and I'm gonna go find him. I might be just, I might just do like a blind let's play. This might be episode two, ladies and gentlemen. So I am enjoying this. You know, something I do want to get rid of. Marker, marker, marker. There we go, okay. Nails. Nails for Teresa. Uh, bandages and marigold decoction? Don't really know what it is, but it's expensive. So, if nothing else, I can sell it. Bring the nails to Teresa, I get it. Faster. Bring those nails and don't keep Teresa waiting. I, I'm here. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? Henry, what are you we will. For? Bring those nails. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. Oh, it's truly beautiful. I think she likes me. Oh. Fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. Isn't even cutting. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. He's got bad facial hair. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a commoner? Let try it. God, I suck. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Of course, they're not going to tell me. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, Sir Isvan. Have a safe journey to Sasa. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. So what is my dad's deal? Long deal? peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Fair enough. Will you teach me how to use it like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword. 
And then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. Talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. Uh. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Man, why can't I get a nice beard like him? Oh, fuck. Holy shit. What did this village do to you, man? No, 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 no. That is a lot of people. Oh my god, and fire arrows, and cavalry. Holy shit. I'm just gonna murder a bunch of civilians? Listen to me, Al. Listen carefully. Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry, what about you? Holy damn. Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Radzik. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. Sir Radzik. Oh, my dad is so cool. I guess there's really no point in everybody running because they have cavalry. It'd be too... Henry will kill them all. Henry? Come on, Dad. Ha oh, ha, he's so cool. Save your wife. Go help. Henry, stop watching. No. What a cheap shot. Oh, for oh, what the hell? Oh, I'm gonna be killing him one day. I can tell you that right now. Seriously? There is one way to start an adventure, Jesus Christ.
Oh, fuck. Right to Telmer, get a horse. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. I might be, might be beating him. Maybe I'm just like a really fast guy. A horse. Movement. Trot plus B. Ideally combined speed and stamina. Gallop as fast as but train sort of thing. Run faster. Follow a path. You can hold B. Ah, oh, kind of like, um. I want this one. Galloping. Oh, oh man. What language are they even speaking? Oh shit. can't just rip that out either. They've probably got those prong tips. It'll make you bleed. A lot. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Stop it! Come back and save you. Well, avenge you. Left. Almo gets to the left along the stream. Go with me, my blonde steed. Ah, uh, the bleed's getting worse. That guy's got it all figured out. I really need to find someone who can stop the bleeding. I've got like half my health. Keep running, fellas. Oh, that's horse stamina. Sorry. Oh, fuck. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Ghost, I'll kill you all. I'm gonna fucking get killed. I'm not sure which injury that is in the bottom left, but. Can't be good. Oh, jeez.
Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that arrow out. I have no idea what language that was. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. Oh. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Jeez. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Who is this awesome mustache guy? Sir, this is a survivor from- I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insigns of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. I feel like the Lord has such a high-pitched voice. He doesn't sound old. Like he looks. But I like him. He's interesting. I discovered my bed. I'm not sure the pretzel is that old, but you know, whatever. Getting my health back, what about my stamina? 
Stamina bar is still at half. What's happened with that blacksmith? He sent his apologies, sir. He can't come tomorrow. The soonest he can manage is before noon the day after tomorrow. Well, I suppose it can wait another day. Tell him to come then. I will. Oh, a knight. I think that's what the sir means. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. I heard about your father. They say he was a sword. What is it? I can't understand why he'd waste his talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. He had a fine reputation. It's a great loss. It is a great loss. Hey! So... Ouch. I wasn't close enough to the door. Ah, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man? Welcome, lad. Bojana here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer valley. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes, thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. Oh, dang. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Come on. There's so much food here. Oh, must. Oh. <sighs> oh, okay. So eating changes um how much stamina you have it's very interesting roast duck let's eat some duck maybe or don't do anything for me roast duck And cheese. Come on, long arms. Uh, oh, damn, I'm tired. About to pass out apparently oh, it must be the cottage let me go inside 
There's an entry. Oh my god, I'm not gonna make it. So cool. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady... Uh, um... No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My Why is this woman so nice to me? Thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to. But to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. Come on. She seemed a little flirty, if I'm not mistaken. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. A fellow by the name of Kunish showed money to Father, who sent me to collect it from him. Only Kunish had no intention of paying. It got a bit heated, as often happens when there's money involved. But Kunish still wouldn't cough up the coin. Father was too generous for his own good. Letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Oh. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised Father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. Father and I always chat in the forge. On that particular day, I asked him if he'd teach me swordsmanship. He said no. He said it's better for a man to keep his head on his shoulders than lose it over some pointless heroism. If only you'd known what fate had in store for us. Oh. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind, the armor glinted in the sunlight, and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Scalitz. It was horrible. The gate to the castle was open. 
The bells and horns sounded the alarm, and the villagers ran to the castle to take cover. They were carrying the few possessions they could grab in haste, and I saw the terror in their eyes. I can't even imagine how awful it must have been. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of Cuman savages who planned to violate her. I wanted to help her. God knows I wanted to. But even though I had the sword we made for Sir Radzik, they had me outnumbered and they were well armed too. I only just managed to grab one of their horses and ride off. I couldn't help her any more than I could have helped my parents. It wasn't your fault. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Pribislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. Dang. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Dang. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom and only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Harvel punished for it? Never. <sighs> and after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly, only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. 
Wait, you brought that here for me. Hold on. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. I thought she was going to jump him. We wasted alcohol. Mail. Correction. You wait. Cool. You had a birthday. Yeah. Is what it seems like. <laughs> yeah. Well, good thing you're not touching penis. Wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. How do I know when there's been an auto save? Game saved. Oh, I'll just saw it. The treasure is in we're going to stop here. Uh, we'll continue a little later. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see what time it is. Um, I want to get these uploaded so you guys can see what this game is all about. And see what's going on.